Neptune, the Mystic, and the haunting voices of the Royal College of Music Chamber Choir up in the gallery here at the Royal Albert Hall, bringing hosts, the planets, to a close. Sakari Oromo also conducting the brilliant students from the Sibelius Academy and the Royal College of Music Symphony Orchestra. Listen to the audience appreciation here. Absolutely wonderful. Maggie, from Mars to Neptune, all points in between, were you transported to the heavens? I was. It was mesmerising, especially Neptune at the end. To me, it sort of just tells, tells me how much we don't know and how much is still yet to explore. <laughs> So you learnt something, oh. really, from all of this, you would say? Yes, that's what I love. Um, because we look up at the night sky and we interpret it in different ways. But every culture across the world has looked up and wondered and interpreted. And sort of, yeah, and so the more knowledge we get, the more magical it makes it. <laughs> oh, well, Sakari Oromo, back out again. And all the performers tonight, on their feet, along with much of the audience giving a standing ovation. What a night it's been. Holst frequently drew comparisons between music and its otherworldly quality. He was quoted as saying, music being identical with heaven isn't a thing of momentary thrills or even hourly cries. It's a condition of eternity. The planet is beloved by the proms. Some of you might have spotted our opening title music is, of course, Jupiter from the planet. Wonderful reception here. Sakri Oromo studied at the Sibelius Academy and the Academy has played a big role throughout his life as his parents were also both professors there and of course many of the performers from that same wonderful establishment and some of the Musicians acknowledging the applause of the full house here at the Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> A sort of staggered Mexican wave, I think we're getting here. <laughs> oh. Maggie, we're seeing young musicians on the cusp of the beginning of their career and what a venue in which to perform so brilliantly tonight. Yes, yes. And I think, yeah, what a start and what a boost. Um, because, yes, these are at the start of their careers, but what will they do? Where will they go? It's, it's exciting and, and love to see them. <laughs> I could cheesily say the sky's the limit. <laughs> and I just did. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. What an evening it's been. Maggie, thank you so much for being here. You are a bringer of insight, intellect and fun. <laughs> thank you so much. But just before we go, we have a surprise for you. Oh. Because a little birdie told us it was your birthday today. <laughs> and so... <laughs> oh. oh, my word, I don't believe it. Oh, that is so kind. Thank Happy you birthday all. Happy all of us. Oh, Maggie, thank you so much. And to the team here, what a wonderful team. That's amazing. Oh, look at the planets, they're all there.
<laughs> well, if you've missed any of our proms, you can catch up on iPlayer and on BBC Sounds. Mozart's clarinet concerto, played by Anthony McGill, was a corker. Honestly fantastic. I was here. So, just search BBC Proms on iPlayer. Next weekend on BBC4, it's double Beethoven and disco. On Friday, his powerful Ninth Symphony gets a fresh take with the Aurora Orchestra, who played the whole thing from memory. Then, the disco prom on Saturday on BBC2, which also includes disco Beethoven. And on Sunday, arguably the most famous cellist in the world, Yo-Yo Ma, makes a sensational return to the proms in an all-Beethoven program. See you then. Good night. <laughs>